This is a demonstration of X-ray fluorescence. Some materials have the ability to absorb energy from one part of the electromagnetic spectrum and emit lower energy photons. Um, and this is what uh, traditionally was used for X-rays in the case of film. Uh, many will be surprised to learn that it's not the X-rays that expose the film, but it's actually light. So the X-rays will hit a material like this, an intensifier screen, and it immediately fluoresces in the color spectrum and that's what we see on the film. It turns out this is much more efficient than using the x-rays. It's about 99% more efficient. So we, we gain a lot in terms of patient dose reduction, uh, tube cooling and things like that. Now you can see the light field on the intensifier screen. In practice, the technologists would use this light field to get an idea where the x-rays are gonna strike the patient. For example, if we're doing a hand x-ray, uh, see, make sure the hand's covered in the x-ray and collimate down uh, to reduce scatter and things like that. Uh, of course, you'd never be able to see it fluoresce because the cassettes uh, were enclosed. They were light tight, so obviously, so it wouldn't expose the film. Uh, but it, this is out of an old film cassette. So you can see this in action. Uh, I have a little target here. It's circular. And of course, light's not going to pass through this. Uh, but the x-rays will. So we'll set this up on the collimator. It's lined up here. And you can see it's pretty well covered on this. You can barely see an outline of the, the toroid there. And there it is taped to the uh, collimator. So I'll shut off some lights and we'll fire an x-ray see what happens. So you would have seen in green that there's a central shadow cast on the intensifier screen uh, from this, this coin. Uh, so back in the days of film radiography, what we were essentially doing is we're taking a photograph of the shadow uh, that the x-rays cast onto the intensifying screen.